Hi lovelies, it's me Nancy Janet. Welcome back. And in this video here today, you can see I have a calendar behind me. Yeah. I'm going to teach you few calculations. The calculations are not so difficult, but you just learn as you go by. The calculation is about to calculate your safe days to prevent pregnancy and your unsafe or fertile days to maximize the chances of getting pregnant. The days to coincide with sexual intercourse in order to maximize the chances of getting pregnant. If you are a woman using the natural family planning method, then this is your video. Any young girl who is trying to prevent pregnancy using the natural family planning method, maybe you are not on any contraceptive but you don't want to get pregnant, then this tool is your video. Or you are on a long distance relationship and you want your days to coincide with the days you're supposed to see your husband, this too is your video. Behind me is a calendar. If you can get a calendar, it will be better. In this video here, I'm going to use a 28 day cycle. You can have 30, 32, 26 days, but I'm going to use the 28 day cycle. So you will follow this method to calculate depending on your cycle, whether you are a 30 day cycle or 32 days. First, ovulation is the release of a mature egg. We have to know when you are ovulating, when you are a 28 day cycle person. Ovulation occurs 14 days to your next periods. If you are a 28 day cycle, that means after 28 days, your periods will begin. When is your ovulation? Ovulation is 28 minus 14. If you are a 30 day person and ovulation occurs 14 days to your next periods, that means that you have 30 minus 14. You will be ovulating on 16th day of your cycle. And if you are a 26th day person, you will be ovulating on the 12th day of your cycle. So, I hope you've understood how we calculate the ovulation day. Ovulation lasts for about 12 to 24 hours after an egg is released. For you to know the days you are ovulating, the first thing you have to know is to know your cycle length. How are you going to know your cycle length? First cycle length is the days in between this cycle and the next cycle. So how to calculate your cycle length? The first day of your cycle is the first day that you are menstruating. The first day you start seeing blood. If I start to see blood today, 30th of May, that is the first day of my cycle. Assuming that I started seeing my periods on the third of the month, that is my number one day cycle. That is the first day of my cycle. So I'll keep on counting like the second day, third day, fourth, fifth, until I get my 28 day cycle. Your egg dies 12 to 24 hours after release and the sperm can stay up to five days in your body after ejaculation. This will help you know your fertile days. So it's five days before your ovulation and one day after the ovulation day. You can use this method whether you are a 30 day cycle it just depends on how to calculate. As long as you know how to calculate your fertile days, you can use this method because you'll be applying the five days before and one day after the ovulation day. Day 14 of the cycle will be on day 16 of the calendar. That will be the 14th day of this person. So from the 14th day, with the knowledge that the sperms can take around five days in your body and the egg dies 24 hours, after the release. When are the safe days of this person? First, the fertile days of this person is five days backwards. So from one, two, three, four, five. From day nine. And again, 24 hours later, that will be day 15 of the cycle. By knowing this number of days, that is five days before your ovulation and 24 hours, that is one day after ovulation, this can help you know the number of days. You can maximize your chances of getting pregnant or you can try and avoid unprotected sexual intercourse in order not to get, in order not to get pregnant. Thank you for watching. Those are your fertile days. The remaining are your safe days. If you can do it on your periods, it's included to be your safe days. 